So if you did support Trump the way that I did. Oh, and as a quick update, no, I didn't vote for him. But besides that, if you did support him, then this current administration is sort of like a checklist for you. You're seeing lists of promises and that big 4chan you are here thing list, and you're taking a guy. So for everything he does right, put a check on it. And the way I see it now, the healthcare thing besides the wall is probably the second biggest thing he's mentioned. And as of the past couple of weeks, it's been a big topic of discussion, especially the fact that Paul Ryan Care, which wasn't really seen as anything that much better than actual Obamacare, was a poor replacement, and it didn't repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act. And I forgot the name of the act, so let me look it up for a second, because I did read up on it. Okay. It was something choice, right? The Patient's Choice Act. I'm going to be honest, I read the long thing, the short thing, a couple of other sources, some of which were something similar but worse. And my thing is, in terms of rhetoric, it is better than what we have now. But that's rhetoric. That's not what it is in practice. Because in practice, I'm looking at this purely as an insurance thing and not actual health care. What I want out of a health insurance reform act is for it to solve the underlying problems with health insurance. And one of the biggest ones, the one which is the most logical problem, is that health insurance isn't following the rules of normal insurance. <clears throat> Usually insurance is supposed to help you out in case the worst case scenario happens. Like, I remember every time I've talked about healthcare with other people and normie Facebook groups, they always tell me how American healthcare is bad, that you could have all this money saved up, and then you get into an accident, and now you're left with a big ass bill. I'm thinking, you know what, health insurance should cover Something like that. Early, unexpected, worst case scenarios. And the thing is that a lot of the things that healthcare covers right now, sorry if I'm looking the other way, I got a nice view of a window right there. If you had that view, you'd be looking at that and not this nasty ass camera. I can't stand looking at my nasty ass face. <clears throat> But regardless, this is sort of what health care is supposed to help you out with, these unexpected things. How is it, and this is a real life example, that my younger bro was covered because of my mom's work insurance. He was covered for his checkups. He was covered for peeing in a cup. He was even covered for dental stuff. Like, what would you need dental insurance for? Like, what is there to worry about? The wisdom teeth going to act up early? You won't get hit with early gingivitis? Just because? Your, your tooth randomly blows up? And now your mouth looking like a chopped cheese. No. No. So he has all this covered. But then he's chilling in a Mickey D's one night. And someone comes and throws a caution wet floor sign on his head. He gets his head busted open. He's rushed to an emergency room and has his head stapled. Guess what? Insurance didn't cover that. 
So mom was left with a big ass bill. Now that's an emergency situation. He got assaulted. That's not just something that happens. That's not something you expect every year. And he was left with a big ass, we were left with a big ass bill. Now he didn't pick a fight with anybody. He didn't do anything of the sort. But the worst possible case scenario happens to him. He ended up in World Star World. That's why I don't go to Mickey D's. But Mickey D's isn't a legal risk for you to go to. Just because World Star stuff happens there. And the food, that's another subject. But uh, you, you already saw Fat Sauce. You're not going to fall for the super size me documentary meme. Regardless, that's what healthcare should cover. But, because that's an emergency right there. I mean, the closest I can think of besides that analogy is something else similar happened, but I'm not going to get there. The point is, I was reading up on his stuff and he was including a lot of information about checkups, Medicaid, all this stuff. But in many ways, it just seemed to sort of move the issue to a public versus private sector type of thing. And really, that's not the type of meme we should be going for because that's a big ass tangent. Uh, to me, the fact that this is a subject that was focused on, among many other things, like prevention, trying to spread awareness, I guess, gulping down a two-liter bottle of soda every day is a bad thing. These things are, ten are big tangents. And to me, a lot of the subjects that politicians keep talking about really make me wonder if this is really like rocket science. And they're talking about something that's like unfamiliar to them. Right now, we have a system that is essentially like Wally World, where our healthcare system is helping out people like the people in Wally who are refrigerator ass people who don't walk, can't function, and need technology to support them. That is how they live. And this is almost how our healthcare is structured. And this is an example of how bad things can get. Remember, there's feminist talking points about how things like birth control should also be covered by insurance. And the thing is that I don't got to worry about a pullout game because my insult status is my pullout game. But that shows you that this insurance thing this service, this ain't no more. This ain't a service no more, and that's the only part of the rhetoric where I like Paul Ryan's Patient's Choice Act. He mentions that the insurance guys are the real customers in this game, but other than that, he does nothing to actually address the problem. You can't just say privatization. You have to actually deal with actual issues. What needs to be covered? What shouldn't be covered? What are some of the actually politically incorrect and difficult choices that you have to make in order to make the system work? A lot of Trump's biggest critics in terms of his decision of repealing, replacing Obamacare are concerned about it because they think 
well, I'm one of these Wally World guys, or I have some family and friends, inevitably, who are like this, who I love and care for. And I'm worried that this guy is going to take that away. Like, I remember 2012. Just hearing a Republican like Mitt Romney in the debates mention food stamps got all my hood friends shook. They're like, oh damn, you're taking away food stamps. And we isn't. But this is the type of environment we're in, in terms of discussions. And I don't want to be an ANCAP meme guy. If we want to have a safety net, we can have a safety net. But this insurance system, as it is now, what it covers and what it doesn't cover is completely fallacious. Anyways, it's been Mr. Wonka 7. I'm hoping that Trump can give this shit a little bit of a remix, maybe listen to different people. And suck my dick.